Hi and welcome to Painting the Shed. This is me at a wedding um, on the weekend. Here I'm starting with uh, titanium white and lemon yellow, then a bit of burnt sienna. Um, yeah, I, I thought I'd just do a little time lapse on this video because I had limited time, put the camera up, and I was trying to wear a nice suit and <laughs> I was trying to wear a nice shirt and waistcoat anyway. But anyway. Um, that's burnt sienna and yellow ochre and lemon yellow and white. I was kind of starting with the light area first, obviously, and then um, Prussian blue, crimson, and white around the outside here, trying to um, get the cold areas in without it going green. Like if you use the the crimson, it stops it going green. So that's why you, you put crimson in between the blue and the and the um, red and and stuff, you know, yellow. Um, it was really hard. I knew what I wanted to do. I, th I, th I think I al already had the picture of, like in my head completely, so I knew it'd be a waterfall in the middle. It'd be like they're inside a tree. So I kind of had this tree idea. It'd be a massive tree, and then inside would be them and a waterfall. Because I kind of felt like maybe their marriage you know uh, at this wedding you can see them in the background you can see her right now on the right hand side um but i just wanted them to be encased in love you know encased and rooted in love and that's why i think a tree is a good idea for a wedding because it kind of means they're rooted in love they're rooted in in this marriage in this uh, you know thing that they're doing um i'm adding burnt umber to the burnt sienna right now at the bottom that bottom area there um, I kind of went back and forth with the, the light and the dark. I was using many, uh, yeah, I used many brushes because so you can clean off a brush and make it, you know, um, clean, but, you know, just to go to a new brush is so much easier. Um, here I'm adding the, um, the blue and the crimson and the burnt umber and making brushes in the background. Here, this is um, burnt umber, burnt sienna making the uh, characters like I had I took a photo of them on my phone before I started doing the painting so they literally came out of the wedding they just got married they came out of the wedding and they stood there and I said can I just take a photo of you and then I used that photo on my phone to get the um, the outfits right he had a, a tailgate a tailgate T uh, he, uh, what do you call it a suit with a tail on it anyway um, not a tailgate. I hate tailgaters. Anyway, uh, then I paid her, and I, I, at first I thought she had a ponytail, so I did a ponytail. But then I realised after seeing her a few more times, I'm like, no, it's not a ponytail. It's a ponytail on top of hair. Like it, it, there wasn't actually a ponytail. So anyway, um, I changed that towards the end. Here I'm adding more branches, more trees, and uh, more detail to the background what I try and do when I'm painting really fast at a wedding or something like that I, I try and get the the atmosphere and the light and the dark like straight away I try and cover the whole canvas and make it as interesting as possible straight away um, but then towards the the last part, oh, that's me chatting to people people want to talk to me a lot which is really cool I, you know, I really enjoyed that that whole day uh, it was amazing but um, Going back to the paint, I'm at, yeah, I'm adding more burnt umber now, uh, stuff to the bottom. But I wanted to capture the, the light in the atmosphere and the, the bride and groom, and then whatever time I have left, I add to the rest of the painting, you know, so I cover in the edges, do the sides, and do all the little detail bits, which I'm doing right now. I'm altering my easel because one of the legs was failing, but you know, just like right now, I'm just adding dark and I'm adding more burnt umber, and you know. Uh, Prussian blue and crimson to the outside of the painting, but I, I, I caught the middle of the painting, the, the important part. Um, so, if you invite me to a wedding, I would totally capture you guys, you know, if you get married, and um, do that first, and then add the stuff around it. But this is really interesting for me because it's the first time I painted outside and painted after the service, and uh, I thought it turned out pretty good. So, that's it.